Howdy cowdies, hope you're going good. It's pretty warm today, but we're okay. I know that you were concerned. <laughs> Weekly walkabout time with the collector. We've been flat knacker again. We've got heaps of cool stuff. Michael Mazaros bronze crucifix. Bronze oriental dragon over the back holding the orb. You've got some really cool old card decals there from Jan Juck featuring the surfer. And there's two more in there, surface paradise also featuring surfers. These are more sort of car decals. They look like they're sort of in the style of Ed Roth, hot rods and stuff. Uh, they're unused. There's still got all the backing and instructions and everything like that on the back of them. There's three in there and then there's three in there. Uh, what else we got? Some nice Chinese pendants. You can see the red and green one there in the little plastic bag, lot number 195. Unusual bobblehead, the twisters. All right, so they're doing the twist, chubby checker style. They've both got damage, but he still twists away. She's a bit bung on her spring. Nice set of sterling silver uh, spoons, all the different flowers. There's more silver in this box, and there's more silver in this box. Uh, Swarovski, more Swarovski. There's some nice stuff in the jewellery cabinet. What else have we got? Another nice big Tessa T or 20, T21 coffee table. Got a nice retro bar. And this pretty cool mid-century modern uh, style coat rack. Really cool. Nice little Edwardian washstand with the marble top. Uh, so we got some film reels. 16mm film. They've all actually written on there what's on the film. Cool old pair of giddy-up spurs. Good records. Good postcards. More silver. Swarovski style. More singles. These are a group lot of kink singles, harmonicas. Had some great clothes this week, actually. It's fantastic little vintage ladies, sort of 1950s, 60s dress with all the gilt beading. These are a cool lot of sort of 1970s long full length frocks and pretty amazing sort of little diamante embellishments and bows and stuff. And these are pretty cool as well. A couple of nice 1960s ladies dresses or frocks again. Couple of nice minks, army jacket, got some cool hats, hat boxes, there's some more cool hats, little purple ones, a ripper, uh, what else we got, records, group lot of mixed items, couple of cool old TAA bags, uh, this is all horse racing ephemera, race books from the Caulfield Cup, Melbourne Cup Carnival, the Pishin Program, Saturday, November the 3rd. Victorian Derby, 1990, Bone Crusher. There he is. You can't see our Waverly Star, though. Good lot. Big 100k an hour sign. A couple of nice rugs. A couple of nice Hollywood Regency tables. Two boxes full of sheet music. Some really nice covers on some of them. Uh, more rugs. More records. This is actually a good little box lot. There's some cool stuff in amongst. Santana. Michael Murphy. Flowing free forever. Look at him. Donovan, Steely Span, Amy Lou Harris, Mark Armand, Tennessee Ernie Ford. He touched me and then he went to jail. Footy ephemera. These are cool old VFL Carlton mittens. You've got grand final ponchos, grand final records. Three boxes of stuffs. More records, more records. And there's a framed record to go with that lot. It's music and effects for home movies. There you go. All right, what else have we got? Nice big desk. Another nice Edwardian pine washstand. A couple of nice turntables. No microphone, though. Door with the frosted glass panel. Big GEC industrial fan that works. Console table. Teddy bears. Ammo crates. Stereo gear. Some good toys and stuff in here, including this fantastic robot made from plastic sort of assemblage. Really cool thing. Mm -mm, teddy bear's falling out. Electrical stuff, big lot of tools and a bass guitar. Heaps of swap cards and Tazos and stuff. These are cool. Get rolling with redstone. Portable typewriter and a fan. Camera gear, Australian art books. Death Valley, classics of the old west, little part, part set. This lamp is pretty amazing. Big candlesticks back in this week. And this lamp, 
Australian sculptural or metal female figure there holding the two um, power pole insulators. Really cool. It is signed with initials JVH to the base. It was made in the 1990s. Cool thing. Sunglasses and a discman. Tools. This is a great lot of sort of cowboy and Indian themed stuff. You've got some cowboy napkin rings. You've got an Indian napkin ring. A little vase. You've got a pretty cool pair of chaps. Wall sort of gun to go on the wall. And good old Tonto. There he is. Good group lot. Uh, more good lots of ceramics and stuff. Another good lot of records. Great lot of retro stuff. The canister set's cool as. <coughs> little pair of Japanese woodblock prints. That one's a little bit chewy. You can see some silverfish or something's got to it. Cool retro clock. We've got Guns N' Roses playing on the stereo. Cool little retro mirror. Really unusual with all these little applied sort of lozenge things and the horseshoe. Uh, another good lot of records. This is a great group lot. These are fantastic. The bottoms up novelty mugs. These are great as well. A little talking, little talking guys. Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse, Casper. Little nodding head cat ashtrays. Fantastic with the two other little black cats. Huey, Huey, and Louie. Big lot of novelty salt and peppers, German ones, Carlton Ware ones. There's some Australian pottery and stuff. Japanese over the back's pretty cool. Little plastic mammy salt and peppers with the cool little chef bobblehead. Two more records, Bonzo Dog Band and Country Joe. Nice couple of nice little um, plasterware lamps. Some little sort of wind up dancers. Little mixed group lot. Hey, hey the funs. And Richie Cunningham. As you can see, the Fonz's leg's been broken. And Richie's missing a shoe. Cool things, though. Some cool old sort of tweed driver's caps. This is an RAF um, signalling lamp. Some more card decals and stickers. Super Nintendo with all the stuff to go with it. There's no games, just all the cords and controllers. Another good lot of records. The Eagles. The band. Footy stuff again, cool little pair, I think they're salt and peppers, he's got a hole in his head but she's actually stuck on the seat, great little novelty ashtray from Pacific Fair, turn me over for your hot butts and ashes, <laughs> these are cool as well, a little draw drawstring talkers, hey Jude, sheet music framed up, you've got a reproduction vintage Barbie, a reproduction of a vintage one, this is a nice original 1964 Aurora model kit, Frankenstein, it hasn't been made up. The instructions are there. Michael Jackson. A little lot of gollywog, little gollywog themed stuff, including the money box there, and the little egg cup, and the little egg cosy. A couple of pilots' headsets. This one's marked 486 Squadron, which was an Australian transport squadron. Flying Hercules and stuff like that. Slouch hat. American fiberglass helmet insert. Pilot's hat. Cool old drum. These are cool, the old strapping, 1970s sort of plastic door strapping. 1944 maps of sort of Darwin, stuff like that. Eucalyptog, eucalypt eucalyptographia. There you go, descriptive atlas of the eucalypts of Australia. There's about five or six volumes of that. Good lot of Victorian stuff, nice set of platters. Signed cricket bat, 1930s, no Don Bradman. Big collection of glass, a couple of nice clocks, some cool cassette tapes, a bit of Dave Stewart and the Spiritual Cowboys in amongst, some more race books, Caulfield Cup, another sort of cricket, another sporting ephemera. This is a cool old tennis racket, Ensign, old carbide miner's lamp with a pipe, Lego, Caulfield Grammar stuff, more cassette tapes, The Angels. It's about the only thing I can see. Baby animals. Jermaine Jackson, Blade Runner. There you go. A couple of cool books on Australia. This is a nice little carved and inlaid obsidian bust. Great lot of Beatles singles and EPs. They've got their either picture sleeves or their original parlophone sleeves. Two handheld games and some Star Trek blueprints. 
Um, Beatles monthly book with some cool 1963 UZ Australian top 40 chart lists. These are all equestrian ribbons from the Royal Melbourne Show and other places. A little lot of kitsch, sort of kitchen alia. Yes, we got these are great, the little coat hangers. You got two little 45s, little floppy test modern motor test the new Holdens we've put with the good, the bad, and the ugly. Alien Pops Lolly Jar from an old milk bar. Some Mouseketeers. John Cooper Clark LP. Yeah, if you haven't heard him, jump online and have a bit of a look. He's good. He's clever. You've got to listen. Uh, so, uh, interesting book. Religious book there. And the font as well. Um, signed, mounted photo of Fran Drescher. And the voice that could strip paint off the walls. <laughs> great lot of photographs. These are all aviation. There's a great album here, which... On the side, A A4208 Repair, Repaint, Recovery, uh, Progress, Caribou. So it's a caribou that crashed, and it's all the photographs of recovering it. And there's some great photographs and stuff in these albums, all Australian aviation mainly. F111s, you got a Mirage on the top there. It's a nice lot. These are cool, all the metal dies. I think they're from to make football medals or something like that. Coca-Cola Grand Final, Wedgwood, this is all aircraft engine, sort of repair and uh, manuals, um, Hamilton Standard Propeller, overhaul manual, service instructions and operation for a uh, Allison turboprop engine, um, overhaul instructions, there you go, for the Wright Cyclone R3350, there's some great stuff in there. There you go, all the Mego Bat Batman figures. You've got the Joker, the Penguin, Headless Batgirl. You've got a Legless Robin and Batman. Really nice 1920s, 30s beaded shawl with these fantastic pair of sort of matching period heels with the Diamante on the heels, which are pretty amazing. A little modernist composite sculpture. This is nice, the Art Deco metal. I've just forgotten... Badaris, I think, is the foundry. Can't remember the name of the artist. He's a German artist. Um, Australian pottery, salt and peppers and stuff. Fantastic lot of kitchen canisters. Two Hendrix LPs. This is an interesting little booklet here with featuring letters home from soldiers in 1945. Great book, Images of Religion and Australian Art. A pair of kids, platform shoes. Nice bits of copper. Group, group, lot of Batman gear. You got the alarm clock. You got the water pistol, but there's a hole in the back. And this funny little Batman, Fleetwood Mac LP Penguin. Haven't seen that before. Uh, Kitsch novelty Mammy Jar. Uh, Hans Carla Danish art pottery, but there has been some repair on it. Nice little group of Australian pottery. Little Rose Noble jug is sweet. What else have we got? African mask. Got this nice silk scarf with sort of like a pop art image of Mao. Big amphora, sort of centerpiece. There's a little bit of damage here and there, but it's not too bad. Diana lamp base. <coughs> nice cottage clock. Fantastic retro plasterware wall plaque. She's a little bit sphinxed, but she's all right. Another Diana. Another nice little plasterware wall plaque. This one's composite, like, like rubberoid or something. Nice EPNS. This is a good lot. A couple of presentation trays to Mr. R.C. Steele. Council of the City of Melbourne, or Hawthorne, for his appointment as manager of the Australian cricket team to two of the United Kingdom and India in 1964. Nice bit of Davidson cloud glass. Signed art glass. Mammy wall pocket. There is a hairline crack, but I haven't seen a wall pocket before. Nice bit of Reg Preston. Cool book, Ned Kelly, The Armoured Outlaw. It's first edition with its dust jacket. Two more nice little kitsch salt and peppers. Some nice Victorian sort of glass lamp parts. And we've got some cool stuff up the top shelf. This is a nice early engraved map of Christmas Island. Mammy salt and pepper shakers. Fantastic big mammy cookie jar. Trisha Allen Australian art glass. Got a nice big cloisonne vase, but there is no hole or there is no base in it. Really nice vintage crucifix. 
Lovely bit of Victorian glass that does glow, so it's uranium in the nice mount, the muffin dish. A pair of the large size salt and peppers, but I think one of them's had her, she's had her head off. Fantastic 1920s sort of fairy doll. And these two lovely Lucite handbags. Can't remember the, the brand or the manufacturer, but it's in the catalogue. And they're absolute ripper of bits. Anyway, hopefully you saw something good. Be good. See you soon.